Good morning. My name is Brittany Cochran, and I'm a pharmacist student at Xavier University of Louisiana. I would like to thank this Select Committee on Energy Independence and Global Warming for inviting me this morning to represent young environmentalists who are passionate about global warming. My personal experiences of growing up, living, and witnessing disproportionate effects of global warming will greatly influence my perspective and testimony. As a child, I listened as a, as a woman who assumed the role as my grandmother accused petrochemical plants of polluting our environment. She blamed them for the death of her daughter, who died of breast cancer in her mid-30s. I watched her battle major companies and win. At that time, I did not realize I was inheriting an interest and awareness in environmental justice. As a young adult, I have decided to join the fight for a clean and just environment for all. Global warming is caused by the emission of heat-trapping gases produced by vehicles, power plants, industrial processes, and deforestation. In Louisiana, the effects of global warming are exacerbated by coastal erosion. Because of coastal erosion, there is no buffer system to prevent places inland like New Orleans from being flooded and washed away. Hurricanes Katrina and Rita washed away more than 200 square miles of coastal wetlands. Poor African-American communities are the most vulnerable and are disproportionately impacted by these destructive hurricanes because they live in close proximity to industry. I have personally experienced the effects of living so close to industry. In 1999, an aluminum plant five miles from my home had an explosion that sent chemicals and products into the air and into our yards. In my lifetime, because of global warming, I will probably experience and witness many more catastrophic and unprecedented occurrences such as Hurricane Katrina, tsunamis, and other earthquakes. Environmental justice is about fighting for those disproportionately affected by global warming. For example, people of color, low-income, and indigenous people are exposed to more air pollutions in their communities and are less likely to have health and property insurance. Hurricane Katrina demonstrated how minorities and those affected disproportionately by global warming are most affected. Most of those areas occupied by African Americans in New Orleans are still vulnerable and are likely to be flooded in a major storm. These are the people who don't have the means or resources to evacuate, relocate, and put their lives back together. As a resident of New Orleans, Louisiana, a great city that bore the brunt of the effects of Hurricane Katrina, it is important that I am here to stress the fact that global warming is real and it's a hard reality for many people along the Gulf Coast. During Katrina, all of my family members that lived in the city lost everything. They lost their homes, jobs, and places of worship. And now, two years later, none of those families have moved back into their homes. I, too, personally have been affected because I lost all of my campus possessions and I was displaced from my city and my school. Many of my peers and colleagues still feel the effects of Katrina. Some are behind in their collegiate studies because the universities were closed for a semester, and upon reopening, a lot of the degree programs were discontinued because of lack of faculty members. We are faced with extreme increases in rent and living expenses, along with a decrease in job opportunities. Because of this, we are all impacted, both physically and mentally. As a young person, I feel it is my responsibility to combat the crisis of global warming. By working with the Deep South Center for Environmental Justice, I helped facilitate a seminar on global warming. I taught classes, and I introduced it to other youth who have since been committed to spreading the word. In 2004, I joined the Climate Justice Corps which is a great group of young activists who work with communities and have, that have felt the impact of climate change. Together, we help them fight against political and industrial causes of climate change. While it is true that only a select few are burdened more than others by pollution and environmental harm, global warming affects all races and the economy. Together, my generation can make a powerful impact on the future generations. There must be a radical change in our society 
one that includes making global warming a priority so that we can solve the crisis before we reach a point of no return. Thank you.